Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we are playing Mantis Falls, a game of trust, which is a game that we covered on Kickstarter better part of a year and a half ago. I was super compelled, super drawn in by the premise of this game back then. And I have to say, while it hasn't been a perfect game for everyone in my gaming group, I don't need it to be. Because this is a two-player, head-to-head, -head, social deduction game, mm -hmm. in a way, with a lot of strategic card play that gets richer the more you're playing it. It's designed by a husband and wife who sort of knuckled down together and wanted something they could play together as a team that would emphasize or at least add a little bit of strife, strife into their relationships. And uh, I think this one does. I think it definitely does. Here's the thing. This has become the game that West and I try to get to the table every time he drives up six hours to visit. It is going to be the thing that we do, right? It's sort oh, of yes. our game. Yes. We sit down, we learn the cards, we dive back into it, and you start getting a read on how people utilize cards last time, mm -hmm. where you can and can't trust them. How much they tell the truth how or not. How much they tell the truth mm. or not. So we are also going to be doing a how to play on this. And it's not going to be a full teach. Instead, it's going to be a breakdown and, and a run through to get you up and running with this game with an encouragement for you to still double check the rules guide and uh, resolve any questions you have. Mm -hmm. But let's go ahead and give people a 60 second on win and loss, how we're going to be taking our actions. And then I'm going to take a look at my character card, my role card, and my hand of action cards here to start figuring out exactly how this game is going to play. Oh, and one last thing. We are playing with some Kickstarter exclusive components. The yes. wooden trackers, the compendium up here, uh, and the little first player marker. And do keep in mind uh, that outside of those, we're also including two expansions into this gameplay. So we have the uh, Under the Sun, and or Under the Rose, and Full Circle. Full, full Circle is going to add in some more, uh, let's say, punchy event cards? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Under the Rose is going to add in uh, allies that we have that we must pay off that also give us bonuses and more player card actions. The core game is built around the move, draw, and resolve phase, which I'll go ahead and have West give a overview to while I plan my turn. So basically, we have, we're set up as either a witness or a betrayer. What is the name of it? You uh, can look at your roll card and you can tell me if if you're <laughs> not the witness. You so you have you have a hitman and you have the witness. Yes. So basically, you have a hitman and a witness. Hopefully, there'll be one of each because that makes the game a lot more fun. But there's a chance that you could both be witnesses, the, and there could be no hitman whatsoever. The puzzle of the game is is not figuring out if your other person is lying or telling the truth. The puzzle of the game is surviving or not, and yeah. you each have your own objective. The hitman wants to take out the witness. The witness wants to survive to the end. And if you're both witnesses, you both need to make it to the end, which is not the easiest thing to do. But yes. if one of you is a hitman and one of you is the witness, the game changes from surviving to the end to taking out the other player by unsleuthing or at least uncovering who they really are. For the hitman, that's going to require, and since you're the hitman, I'll let you go and describe how that process will work. Okay, I'm not the hitman. Uh, but basically the way that it works is there are going to be uh, events that happen as we're moving down our path here. We're going to move down the road to sunset, up the road at night, and then we're going to go down the road in the dark time. As th we move closer to the end goal here at the end of the road, the tasks are going to get more challenging. They're going to get more difficult. Mm -hmm. e every piece of this game gets more and more scary the farther down the road We need go. to work together, the hitman and the survivor, in order to get to the right position. Because when the hitman, like Jesse, decides to play his hand he should probably do it towards the end because i will have ha, already taken a bunch of wounds yeah. throughout the way and it's a lot easier to kill me uh whereas you know it, because i'm an innocent witness this entire time uh i will need his help to actually get through this because these events are very challenging and get more and more difficult as we go whereas the witness or the witness is won't be able to survive to the end unless they either rush or work together. And if we're both witnesses and I rush ahead of you, mm -hmm. there's a strong chance that we won't win the game because both of us need to hit that end mark yes. in order for us to be the victor. Now, since I am the witness, you will see me race ahead here to get some of these more powerful action cards because those can do things like stop a stray bullet that happened to be misfired in your direction or regain health. You see, mm -hmm. The part of the puzzle on the hunter's side, or on the uh, hitman's side, has to do with the fact that we all have a few last gasps. Meaning, a final play, a big move to try to uh, load your gun, fire a bullet, take me out in the side of the head, 
You know, like that, that that part of the movie where where the bad guy shoots the person and then walks away and then you pop up again and you yeah. have one more opportunity? That's what that is. That's what that is. We can play one last sequence of cards from our hand, giving us a little bit more health, calling in aid to get an epinephrine shot in the middle of a, uh, I don't know, peanut allergy. Uh, <laughs> right. Or uh, specifically, possibly, if need be, pulling out a weapon of our own and making sure that no one wins the game if you're going to kill me at this point. Yes. So that's the premise of Mantis Falls. Check out the how to play to get a little bit more of a deep dive into exactly how it's structured. And we are going to go ahead and start digging into this. So the weird part is there's gonna be a lot of hidden information and the balance of playing on camera is that we will try to bring you on the journey with us while also trying to work together or in West case, deceive the other player. I am not a bad person. Okay. I am a witness. I'm I am never the bad person. For the record, Jesse is always the bad person. I'm going to look at my character card to see if I have any special abilities, what my general max health is. We will reveal these once we hit our max health. That's one of the little side elements uh, because uh, there is a chance I only have six health and you don't know where that is. There's a chance that I'm way stronger. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at my roll card and clearly see that I am a witness. Uh, which, which is, is great because now know. that means that we are both witnesses yep. and we can help each other to get to the end of the game Which is honestly perfect. I'm really glad that we get to show off a game without any hitmen in this game Yes, uh, so the other thing that I should acknowledge I have a hand of action cards here and throughout the course of the game We're going to be playing a series of event cards. We can lie about anything and everything except for Exactly how those cards resolve. Yes, so in the um, in the event cards, they're either going to be white or black. White Hidden ones we glancing. have to show, black ones we hold and we cannot show no matter what. But we still have to. The end resolve has to be the same. But we can pretend yeah. throughout the rest of it. Okay. Uh, and did you determine first player? I did not. Convenient. Yeah, it I think we to be should. In front of you, it's supposed to be a random determination. So let's flip it. You're going to be the bird. I'll okay. be the rabbit. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's a rabbit. How convenient. Amazing. So on your turn, you could choose to move one road forward. By the mm -hmm. way, this road should be revealed. There are going to be some hazards on the road, and you want to pay attention to icons like phone booths and bus stops because certain cards late game might matter in relation to that, like when I have to call in a hit to make sure that you actually die when you try to kill me. So I am not future. trying to kill you. Okay, I don't so understand you're going to decide if you want to take a move forward, and after that, you're going to go ahead and draw an event. That event will either be hidden or uh, seen and we will play cards corresponding to that. I, um, my movement is pretty much just one at this point, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and move forward one because I feel like that's a relatively safe thing to do and it's good to get farther away from Jesse because he's kind of okay. scary. Um, and uh, now uh, it's time for an event. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, this is a scene event, so I actually have to show it's it to public. Jesse. Um, so the health of our bad guy is four. Um, the opposition, so we basically need to do four points of damage. Or we take two points of damage. Yes. Now, I just looked through my hand and I can do almost no points of damage, just so you know. That sounds very, very yep. not right. Okay. Um so you don't have any sort of teamwork or anything in there, huh? I don't, no. I don't at all. I really feel like you're just... That is so It'd be ridiculous for me to lie at this point. Um, is it, though? Yeah. Um, hmm. So... So, yeah, in that case, I actually can't do any damage either because I... If you don't have any sort of teamwork or strength in numbers or any I, of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to put myself in a position to, to start healing up. So uh, here's the actions that we can take. When we have drawn an event, we then start processing or drawing a sequence of cards and playing those down out of our hand. Those cards will have a certain symbol in the corner and special effects and abilities on them. You'll see those in just a second when we reveal. We can set up a sequence of matching symbol cards onto our tableau, allowing us to then play through an order of events or a hierarchy of events. If we decide not to do that, we could always conserve energy. That's where you take one card, place it up here in this top row, face up, like a marketplace for both of us to go. If uh, we decide not to do that as well, we would then uh, 
we could then, and by the way, hold your cards so I cannot see them. Why are you trying to cheat? I'm not. I did not look. I just told you to hold them correctly. So we could create an action play, we could serve energy, or we could discard up to two cards, uh, which means we will draw back those cards after the turn is over. If there's things that you just don't want, you want to hunt through the deck a little bit more. Okay. I'm ready to go if you're ready to go. Yeah. I didn't have anything yeah, fancy, you know. We can only put one card up in the conserved energy, right? Only one, but it's it's not bad to start building that because that is one way that we can uh, expend it to go ahead and add movement or heal a wound. And if we're both good, then healing a wound down the road is pretty valuable. Okay. Ready to go? Yep, let's go. So you'll reveal yours first. So I have a strength and numbers card that okay. I'm going to put up in the conserved energy area. So you would just put it up in the conserved energy. You wouldn't yes. play it as a uh, part of your program. Yep. For me, I am revealing foresight. This is going to be kept as a condition, and I could heal with an amber card. So if I play an amber card, I could then choose to discard foresight to go ahead and get a health back, mm. um, which is nice to have in front of me. Mm -hmm. We are going to be taking two damage, uh, one each. Seems like the fair way to go. That seems fair. Okay. And then, uh, after that, we're going to draw back up to our hand size, which is six cards. So, you discard that, go ahead and draw a card. I will do the same. Then the game moves down to me. Goodness gracious. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a step forward as well. I want to join you there on the road, and I'm going to go ahead and pull an event card. Don't this, take any knives out behind me at my back, Jesse. This is a seen event card. Oh, excellent. Number of condition cards controlled by you and the other player. So one condition card is controlled. Receive wounds. Four divided among the players as you choose. We need to deal one damage to this person. Are you able to deal one damage? Um, I mean, if someone had taken that strength in numbers card instead of grabbing an action card, I could have. That is not what you told me to do, though. So, But I... Uh-huh. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why it's there. That it's, You didn't mention taking the Strength of Numbers cards. Okay, I can fix this, though. You're dealing a damage to him? Yes. Okay. Um, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? You'll find out. You're dealing something to me and a damage to him? I mean... You know we can share any... Things happen. We could share any information. We could, but I don't trust you yet. So why would I share tons of information with you... When historically okay. speaking, you are yeah. always yeah. the killer. You don't, that's the, literally I'm the first game saying. we played, you were the betrayer. No, I was not. And okay, you, okay, that's you, true. You yes, the it. very first game the we very, played. The first one. But, yeah. but it was only, we only played like halfway through. Mm -hmm. And then it was you what? were the betrayer. And you tried okay. to kill me at the very end. I'm, I'm going like to. A sneaky, sneaky snake. Y you're making me very. Um, suspicious. I, I am a witness. Okay, I'm I'm going to add a card up here to the conserved energy. It's not a great card, uh, but what it does is uh, discard and replace hands, so you'll shuffle your hands um, and draw back up. I don't want to use the card, but I'd love to be able to discard this row in the future to gain some health for the team. Sounds like a good plan. So, um, I am going to play Conditional Release, okay. which uh, gets rid of all conditions. Therefore, we have no health to defeat. This just heals me! But now we don't have to take any damage. Oh my gosh. Because that would have been four wounds. But did you want to take you're, all four wounds? I'll take this card back. You're a scoundrel. Just saying. I... Okay. All right. I see how we're going to play the game. We made Very, sure not to actually no. end up with anything. You need to take that strength in numbers this time because yeah. you said I didn't say it last time, so I'm just telling very, you. Very, very interesting. Take strength in numbers because then we could have done four damage. Yeah, is that so? We definitely could have done four damage. It's very convenient that you... Uh... I saved you from taking two points of damage. I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I hear what you're saying. It... I'm just saying. I think you're a murderer. I will take strength in numbers. That's good. Now we can keep working together. Yeah, but what that does is it means I don't get a chance of drawing up from the deck, which is another one of his nefarious objectives. Go ahead, draw your victory. Nefarious are you taking, objectives? Are you, taking, are you taking a step forward? Because this is getting hot quickly. All right, I'm going to take one step forward because I don't feel comfortable standing next to you anymore. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to take an event card. Okay. It's another scene of... Did you shuffle the events? I, I did. Like, right. I did. I did. I'll give it another riffle if you no, want. No, it's fine. No, I mean, okay. you 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 probably stacked it the way that it makes sense for you. I get Scene. it. No worries. Health Scene. one. Um, 
So we need to uh, make sure we do one point of damage, which we easily okay. can do. Yeah. Uh, so we're not going to have to worry about taking any wounds or anything. We wouldn't. We wouldn't at all. <sighs> You're such a scoundrel. Uh, reveal the Road at Sunset card. Oh, yes. And still be careful with the way you hold things, just because I don't want it to get down to a crucial moment. And, and you have, have not... tons of information? Uh, yeah, and I have not reminded you. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not seeing anything. It's just... Uh, every now and then I see a flash of cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm playing Strength in Numbers. It's really the only thing I can do. Um... I need to start talking with Bones the Moonlighter a little bit, though, because I trust my ally more than I trust you. That hurts me in a way that Does it? I don't think you understand, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Trust is something mm -hmm. that's very important in a, no, let's, in a relationship. Let's go. Let's see. Did you play Strength in Numbers? I did. Strength in Numbers. Just like I said I was okay. going to. Strength in Numbers there so as well. So we deal four points we of damage. Four wounds. Therefore, good. bad guy gone. Good. Good teamwork. It's great. Doesn't, I doesn't do have another card here that I feel is important for our relationship. What'd you play? Because I'm a witness, and this is the ball and chain. So I'm going to punch you in the throat. <laughs> I need you what is to that? show me three random cards facing me, and then I can take as many of those as I want, and then I can replace them with very helpful cards from my hand. Because I do have more helpful things in my hand. The other player shows you three action cards randomly taken mm -hmm. from their hand. Keep as yeah. many of those cards as you want, replacing them with cards chosen from your own hand. Which is exactly what I said, and I am a On kind, your turn, skip your person. initial movement phase. You can no longer move. No, that's if it's a condition. I'm keep, not keeping it as a condition. No, it's one, steal but cards, I don't keep two, it as a condition. keep it as a condition. I don't want to do that. On your turn, you can't move. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Did you not know that? No, it's fine. Oh, by the way, because I was the second person to go, I should have one random ally card. If you could please... I, I put them in a hierarchy. No, no, no. I put them in a hierarchy. So just oh. draw somewhere from there. Okay. It wouldn't have affected anything to this point, but it might affect when we start drawing back up. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and draw three cards. Okay. Let's do these three right here. Oh, so just for the I record... I did not get what I wanted. Just for the record, there is a very nice, powerful card that we both have. That card is called Call in a Hit, which... Sounds like is the card you were looking for. Yes, because if he has that and he's the bad no. guy, then here's that hurts the thing. a lot. Here's the problem. Call in the hit is the only thing that right now protects witnesses from the hitman. It is your security <clears throat> card. If he's hunting for this right now, and he's a scurvy scumbag. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to point out, Jesse has said multiple times that he can't deal any damage. I have a card in my hand that very clearly says deal damage. So who's the liar okay. now? Huh. When did I get that card? I don't know, but you clearly have okay. it. You, you could have definitely done some damage. I got that card after we already got, or at the time we got the strength in numbers. Mm-hmm. Okay. What did um, you take? I'm going to let you take that back, and then I'm going to give you two things here that I feel are... You're keeping those two cards? Yeah. Huh. Um... I'm going to be very trustworthy oh, and give I'm you gonna, that one. Yeah, it, it, you very... Oh, wow, wow, great card. And useless bullet, this thank one you. There too. You probably so, have a pistol in your hand and a strength in numbers card. How convenient. I'm being extremely You kept my movement helpful. card and you kept my health card. Both of these things that were could deal damage and hurt me. No, no, no. Movement helps me get over the broken road. And deals one, damage at the same time. One point of damage. And the health card doesn't deal any damage at all. It deals me damage, but it keeps me. It keeps him from screwing with it's me. It's literally called betrayal. Okay. <sighs> yes. Betrayal. And guess who kept it in their hand? Not the betrayer. That's who kept it in their hand. So uh, this was mine. So I now get to get two more cards because I played two cards. Yeah. There's your condition. Yeah. I don't really like that condition though. I don't. I feel like I shouldn't have to take it. I don't really like you at the moment. Well, that just seems rude. You've got rid of my health. You've stolen two cards from my hand. You were searching for my one card that protects me. Does this mean I can, like, never move? I feel like I can yeah. never move. Yeah, that means you have to play cards to move now until mm. you get rid of that condition. Man. And yeah. I, got, I used that one that was really good for getting rid of conditions. You did. You did. That's a shame. You definitely need to get something to get rid of that, because otherwise we can't exit if I'm stuck all the way back here. Just saying. Yeah, you know, I don't mind. Uh, I'm going to take a step forward. I'm going to pull an event right. card. This is Unseen. Unseen, the which health, means he's going to lie. The health is going to be two. Okay. 
Uh, our wounds uh, will be two as well. And there's no effect if we defeat it. But we need to at least do two damage to this. You handed me a Strength and Numbers card back. I'm assuming that you have one in your hand. That would be an assumption that you should not make. Okay. Why would you give me a Strength and Numbers card if you don't have a Strength because and Numbers card? Because it was card? better to give you that than something else that I had in my hand that okay. I really liked. Can you deal a wound? I know you can. How many do we have to do? We have to deal two. Two. Okay. Hmm... I can do a lot You're of thinking a lot. things to you, yeah. but I can't do a lot of things to... Can you deal a wound? Um, I'm so frustrated with you right now. Yeah, I really, I can't is the problem. Uh-huh, um, you're, you're spending a lot of time not, searching. Not a single thing can okay. I do to the bad guy. I can do Don't, lots of stuff you, to you and you, me, though. Have you checked what cards you have tucked here? No, I, I definitely haven't. Okay, because you might you might be able to deal a wound if uh, if you had some cards there, possibly. I don't know what your abilities are, but... Um, so I've got uh, take two random ally cards. Okay, uh, okay. The other player chooses and discards half of their buried cards. Okay. Uh, heal one of my wounds. Yeah. Uh, move backwards until I reach a road with no ambush. So I can move backwards as well. Okay. Uh, and at the end of the draw phase of this turn, the other player must move backwards one road. So nothing that's going to deal damage to anybody. Great. Yeah. Great. Thank you for that. Yeah, so no what you're saying is we're just going to we're going to take this damage. Two points, right? It's two points of damage. It's yeah. not. So it's not the you, worst, but it's not me. great. I feel like that's a fair, good. That seems to be uh, reasonable. You're you're such a problem. The good news is I there's I really there's not much I can do here. Um, okay, all right. I'm playing I'm playing down three cards. Ooh, he's <sighs> playing three cards, which means he's going to look at like try to bury some cards here or something, which means I probably need to come up with a way to play three cards as well. I um. That is going to be a very bad thing for you if I do that. I so, never drew up a card, by the way, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Because remember you did that whole confuddle my hand thing? Yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Um, so when it says uh, one, two, three on the left-hand side, that means I have to do all three of those things? Uh, yes. So one, two, three is in a hierarchy that you follow. Hmm. I do not like that at all. Mm -hmm. uh, You're wow. gonna share the card with me. I could help you uh, figure no. out exactly what it does. Nope. I am going to, as for my option, go ahead. I'm gonna do a conserved energy card. You're doing a conserved energy card. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and play that down. Okay. A teamwork card, because I feel like that's important. That's the card you don't like. We are teamworking. Do you have another one of those cards in your hand? We are teamworking. Do you have another one of those cards in your we hand? We are teamworking, Jesse. It's teamwork. <laughs> I'm going to strangle you on camera and not release this video. <laughs> if all of a sudden I never show up at, at my house again or on camera ever again, you'll know why. <laughs> okay, my hierarchy. <laughs> Playing the tools to deal one wound. Beautiful. Yep. You actually played the one wound card that you actually had probably this whole game. Except it needs two wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is an amber card, however, so mm -hmm. the first amber will allow me to bury. Yep. I'm then playing cats and dogs, which lets me add one card to my action play, and that card is going to be Sanctuary, which is a lilac. So the first amber and the third lilac, I will be able to do the bury action uh, or the uh, search action once each. Nice. So I'm going to start with a bury action. Look at the top three uh, actions. So don't deck. forget, you've got a... Wound I will and do a that. condition. Yeah. So okay. I'll go ahead and grab, grab that wound. The condition allows me to ignore a granite card in the future, hmm. which like seems chain. which seems probably a good idea. Very, granite is usually very really beneficial. Nasty. Uh, I'm going to then look at three action cards. Now, are you first player or am I first player? I am first player. So you would draw up before me because it is uh, look at the top three action cards, bury two, and return the other to the top of the deck. So I can choose. And I need to know which card is here because matching sets is important. Mm -hmm. Sadly, none of them are going to be matching sets, of course. That's how this works. 
But we can't ever take these cards and use them, can we? That's really unfortunate. Boo! Okay. So, this is going to go back on top. Okay. These two are going to be buried. And then, I'm going to search the deck for any action and bury it. So, I am going to hunt the deck for anything that you might really love to use. Mm. Um, I don't think that's as important anymore. That's that. So the question is, what do I not trust? What do I not trust? The nice thing about doing this now is that is going to shuffle the deck again, which means whatever I just placed down is, I think, oh man, there's things I would love to have and there's things I don't want you as the uh, betrayer to have. That's fair. So I am not the betrayer though. This is what we're gonna go ahead and I get rid of. I am a witness. I am. You will see at the end of this game, when I flip this card over and it says witness, you'll be like, but why? And I will say, because that was the best way I could play the cards in my hand. Remember, this game is not always about telling the truth or playing it the right way all the time. Sometimes you have to do things that are weird to suss out your friend. I'm gonna call your wife. <laughs> and tell her what? I'm staying later than I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm, gonna tell her, I'm gonna tell her you keep lying to me. All right, burying this card. So I now have four cards underneath my pile. Uh, and then I have to, at some point, pay to either utilize actions or uh, to go ahead and uh, redeem my person. Hmm. Um, so I'm going to go up here and draw up. Don't forget to play your your uh, sanctuary card there. Those it's conditions. There. It's but there. Nope. I received a wound already. Okay. Uh, and this is here now. So yeah. And then I draw three cards up because that's and how many I played. We have to resolve this event as well, right? Yes, we do. Okay. So how many damage do we have to take? We're taking two damage. Okay, I'm going to take it. I will take both of them. No, no, I'm going to take it because I'm going to show you that I am in it as a witness. Even though my actions up to this point, maybe a little sus. No, that's fine. But I got it. I, so, I already I already marked two. Fine. I don't believe you, and I don't choose to believe you. No. I think you have something that deals with being more damaged than me. Why would I? Then why would I heal myself? What do you my mean whole next yourself? turn is going to be a heal yourself okay. thing. Okay, go for it then. Well, no, it's you mean you're. you're oh, you mean you're going to use the card that I that you stole from me to heal yourself? That's the idea. Because I don't want to play it mm -hmm. um, when it gets to the dark area, okay. because then that does bad things to you, mm -hmm. and I don't want to do bad things to you because mm -hmm. I'm a witness. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to move forward? I can't. Oh. So I'm going to take an event card because I can, and it's a scene event. Perfect. So we have to deal three points of damage. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to take two each. Each. That is no bueno. Do you have a strength in numbers card? I don't. I don't. You want to play your call and a hit card? Nope. <laughs> yeah? Nope. You uh -huh. can. Uh-huh. I bet. Do you have, do you have either... You don't have a strength in numbers card? No, I, I used it already. Good, I can draw that you can for draw the next that turn. Up next turn. Mm -hmm. That's right. I sure can. You can. What are you playing? So... Come on, old Johnny boy. All right, so... Here's what we're going to do. How many wounds are you going to do to this guy? I put something in the conserved energy. Guess how many wounds I could do? None. I need you to handle okay. this. Okay. I'm going to handle it. You're going to heal. I'm going to handle it. Go ahead. I'm just telling you, what I'm going to handle it. Oh, and wait, this says stop a granite card, right? Yeah. So whenever the other player reveals a granite card in the action play, you may discard Sanctuary to prevent all of its effects. Yep. Just remember, it prevents all of its effects. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, let's see here. I want to do... I'm going to do this yep here okay okay 
You're playing three cards. I'm playing three cards because I need to start burying stuff too. And I gotta really. Go I need to cycle through this Go deck ahead. because I feel like I don't have enough cards to really be. Go ahead. To do well with. Okay, so I'm gonna play the smoke bomb because this is important. It's a granite card, so you could use sanctuary to prevent all of its effects. Um, but it does stop us both from receiving two wounds because it prevents the effect of the event. Mm -hmm. um, it deals one wound to you, but it prevents all... Of, and I tried to tell you not to take that wound, but you did it anyway. Um, and then I give this as a condition to you, so you still have to take the condition, though. I don't. But you're no. gonna, you're just going to make us both take two wounds. I don't have to take the condition. It gets rid of all the effects. You're not so, going to make every card hidden to me... And still deal me one so, wound. I'm just saying, you're you're preventing... You're saving yourself two wounds and giving me way worse consequences. Okay, I'm just saying, you... No, 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 right. I'm not doing it. You know, you're really not playing as a teammate here, Yeah, Jesse. I'm not. I put down strength in numbers for you. I have a little look-see. Okay. So I'm going to see two of your cards. Okay. So I take two action cards randomly from you. Mm -hmm. I look at them, and then I shuffle them back into your hand. Okay, without so looking at the saw. rest of them. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to take these two ones right here, yeah? And I'm just going to look at them. I don't get to keep them, unfortunately, because mm -hmm. they actually look pretty good. Um, hmm. Yeah, see, you've, you've got some stuff in there that's, that's pretty nice. What do I have? What kind of stuff do I have? You have some movement cards that do I could I? really use, because I have oh. this condition that I can't do anything It'd be with. be great if I could give you cards. You could, I can't. You could give me cards. I could give you a strength in numbers card, which I did this turn. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Which um, you're going to draw up. Yeah. And now I have Night Owl. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna move one. Okay. Uh, right here, and and then it deals a wound because it's the only way I can move. So I move forward two roads. So you're dealing me another wound. You don't move forward two roads. You're not in the night. It says if you are on a road in the night. Oh, move forward two roads. Okay. So you I'm just forward, moving forward, forward one, one road. Yeah. And you're gonna hurt me. And and I do one wound to you again. It wouldn't have been an issue. I need you to draw up strength in numbers and teamwork. That's not what you said. I can work with both of those cards. I have a chameleon in my hand. Okay. Um, so I'm going to also do my berry here. Okay. Um, so to do that, I'm going to draw two cards, or three cards. Three cards. You're going to do it that way, or you're going to look for something specific? I'm going to do three cards. Okay. And then I'm going to take two of them and bury them. And put one on and top. And then put one on top. Uh, let me see what I got in here. Okay. And this is your draw, so yes. whatever you put on top will come into your hand. That's correct. Okay. I need you to draw strength in numbers and teamwork, though. Okay. Teamwork and strength in numbers, because, again... I have, I have a chameleon card. We can work together on those. Yep. Okay, and then do you have any more draw? I believe you have one more draw. I do, yes. Um, Reconsider Shuffle's hands. Gotcha. Hmm, that could be entertaining. Really? It could be. You're going to shuffle both of our hands? It could be, because it worked really well last time, because I ended up getting like both of the call in a hit cards. That was... Why does that mean it worked well? If we're because on the team, do you not were understand the bad how this, guy. Do not understand how this game works. It's teamwork. If you give me all the negative cards, then I know that you're really and truly the witness. <laughs> it's This is an easy game. Hey, if you're watching, leave a comment down below. Who do you trust and who is lying? I just drew the two cards or he asked me to. Are we both witnesses and just a little on edge? My turn. I'm a witness. I'm going to move forward. I only tell the truth. Uh, I'm going to move forward like I did, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to draw an event. Let's take a look. Let's see what's happening. Okay. This is unseen. Uh, this is not, this is not a terrible end scene. Hmm, that's good. Cool. I am perfectly fine with this. So nothing happens. Nothing happens. All right, cool. Hmm.
Okay. I'm going to add another card up here to this top row because I would like us to work together as much as possible. So I'm going to place a bullet up there that whenever so we whenever we draw the gun, the we card can draw that it. I gave to him for the record to show hmm. him how much I was He's trying to useless be useless without a gun in play. I didn't know you didn't have a gun. Well, it's a good thing to have it up there so hmm. that we can either discard it for health or we can utilize it. You can discard it for health? If you have four up there, you can discard them all for one health. Oh. That's a lot That's of That's why I keep putting things up there. That's a lot of... Four cards? Yeah, four cards. <coughs> why didn't you actually take the four cards that were up there before and just... There was, there's never been four cards up there. Oh, you could have told me to put one up there and I would, didn't even know you could do I that. needed you to have strength in numbers. Fine. All right. Watch your hands again. Okay. So I'm going to put this up here for you. Okay. And say that you should probably take it right now and heal three wounds before you get to any of these other things. Yeah, what does that do? What else? What's the extra condition? There's no condition if you don't do it at night. Uh, if you're on a road in the dark, heal three of your wounds and keep betrayal as an affliction. Affliction, play until death. The game is not over until one or more players are dead. Afflictions are not removed by anything. Does this mean you actually have to be in the dark to use this card? Uh, yes, yeah, so you have to be in the dark. Mm. This heals three wounds. Yeah. And on top of that, you'd have to be the enemy to want to play this. Oh, well. Or you'd have to be... 100% sure that one of you is bad and one of you is good. The great news about it yeah. is that's his ability to have an extra card up there so that you could actually... Because we can only play good. one card it's up there good. at a time, right? Nothing's going to happen, though, like I said. That's awesome. Like I said. So, um, so I'm going to draw up here. and then You're not going to move forward? I can't. No. Remember? Strange. Why are you doing that? Because you always have one farther revealed. Oh, then why did we reveal this one? I don't know why you revealed that. I don't one. either. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, so did you, you draw, draw back up? You drew up before me, I, but I will go ahead and draw up. Am I not supposed to? Here, then take that. I, that was already, what I drew. You already know what it is. Okay. So, well, I'm just trying to say it was a helpful card. Technically, because of the hierarchy of things, like when we draw up and sometimes place back on top, mm -hmm. you should always follow turn order with, with drawing. So that's uh, definitely error number one. You can go ahead and post it down there and say that, oh, yeah. West messed it up. It's clearly, you know, he's a dummy. He doesn't know how to play the game. Definitely not a, definitely not a thing they would say. They would, in fact, say Quackalope. Well, I mean, you mess up all the time, but I rarely mess up, so I feel That's like you know. uh, it's more. It's it is actually way more critical if you. It's yep. very true. Okay. All right. An event. Yet another scene card. I feel like there was clearly a Good. shuffling that happened here. Good. Uh, we have to deal four damage. Otherwise, we're going to take two points of damage divided amongst both of us. So that is one each. So you could you could take those two damages, or we could use the teamwork card. And prevent an event from happening. This is opposition. You need to use not the teamwork. You need to use the strength in numbers. Um, and I am... We can literally prevent an event with teamwork. An event and opposition. They're different. Oh. Yeah. Events are not people we need to do health to. Events don't have health. They just do damage. Hmm. So two different types. Okay. Uh, ready to go. Hmm. Okay, do you have strength in numbers then? Cause yep, I told you I did. Got it. Um, hold on. Let me just see if there's anything else I wanted to do here. Convenient. <sighs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do because you need to heal some wounds. Well, yeah, and I can't play anything up there, right? If I'm going to play something down here. So. Ready? Yep. Okay, you reveal first. Strength in numbers. And chameleon. Which is the card I said to copy. Look how now, us working chameleon, together. Chameleon is an amber, so I'm going to draw up two, three cards to go ahead and uh, cycle some stuff into my bucket. Working together. And you draw up first, correct? That is correct. But you're going to have to put one down first. So you're yep. going to give me a card. Yep, I am. Hopefully it's a good one. That is really it's interesting. Um, and then I draw... Yes. Okay, and then I am the top of the round, so I am going to go ahead and choose to move forward. Which, am I this one? I am this one, right? Yes. It's going to reveal one road in front of me. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and draw an event. This is Unseen. Magic. It is magic. Um, I don't... I don't think this is terrible either. Hmm. I think we're fine. 
Okay. Play a sequence of cards. This would be a good time for us to fill up that row if you have something you're willing to put up there. When we fill it up, does it automatically go? Uh, no. When we fill it up, we can use it. Okay. And so I think I need to go ahead and get this in play. <sighs> this is so stressful. I don't know why it's stressful. Uh, because, you know, we're doing good things here. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm going to play one up to the conserved energy area. Forsaken. What does Forsaken do? I really shouldn't have done that, but... Sometimes, heal and harm. If you are on a road with the dark, the other player... Uh, uh, oh, I need to pull it forward. Mm -hmm. If you're on the road in the dark, heal one of your wounds, and the other player must either move backwards two roads or receive one wound their choice. So I'm putting that up there as a sacrifice so that you can heal a wound. Okay. The start of the initial movement phase. So this is my turn right now with the event. Yep. So then it'll be yours, then it'll be back to mine. Correct. Uh, go ahead and play my action sequence. This is going to be an amber card. This is call in a medic. Mm -hmm. uh, keep as a condition. Heal with a hit. Whenever you wound the other player with a call in the hit, heal two of your wounds. So this doesn't help me now. And you should but, never call in a hit on a witness. But if, let's say three rounds down... You decide to reveal yourself like you have been doing? I have not revealed myself as anything other than a witness. Okay. I've uh, done nothing but be good. And that is actually going to be another thing that sets up the action. So this time I'm the lead draw. So I'll be able to stack two. And then I will be able to choose which one's going to be coming into my hand. Hmm. Um, Seems sus. Not sus, just necessary. Okay. That one's going to be drawn up. These two are going to stick under. And uh, when can we activate our player's abilities? When can we activate these on full, full circle or under the rose? Um, Is it at any Whenever point? you begin the game with your gasp. Whenever you do these things. So like you can, you can meet with them by, you can choose to either bury or you can redeem. Okay, so you can choose to bury or redeem. So when you do the action, that's when you'd be able to take a play. Correct. Interesting. It's a weird dynamic. There's a lot of things you can do with them, but they're what hard. What is your negative effect? My negative. Uh, well, my, neg my negative is when you when you reach max wounds, I may pay up to five to draw that many cards, discard down to seven total. No, no, no. This one up here at the top. Oh, begin the game with my gas marker one one farther. So I'm a, ah, little, gotcha. I'm a little bit closer to death. What was yours? I can't use buses um, oh, or sneakers. Oh, that's terrible for you. Yeah, pretty much. Because you just attached but a ball and chain to your leg. I'm not a weakness. I, I am a witness, I mean. I'm You're not, not a witness. I'm not yeah. the betrayer. Wow. Not a witness. I said I'm not a weakness. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I am that. a weakness yeah. because I can't You're definitely move. definitely a weakness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your turn. Oh, the event. Oh, I still have to resolves. draw up, though. Yep, the event resolves. The event is, why are you pulling a card? Because i am got to draw up. You pulled the bullet? I did. You don't have to draw up from there. I don't have to. But it's not your... You said it was the next thing. You said... You said it was the next Go thing. Go ahead. So I'll be putting something down this next Will time. you? I hope so. Hopefully this is a, a scene event that doesn't... Look, it's magically a scene event. I've never had this many scene events in a row. Just for the record. Five points of damage. Woo! Man, you gotta do something strong here. Opposition... Uh, we, we would get two wounds. I would even both take both those wounds. Okay. All right. So you're taking both the wounds. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? What can you do? Not do anything? I I certainly can't do the amount of damage necessary. Well, can you do like three? Um. No, I could do one. Well, that is very unfortunate. You could, um, you know, hurt an event with your call and a hit. Don't start, don't start with me. Just saying you can. Don't. You you told me I could. Don't you start with me. You ready? No. Um, you're putting one up there, right? Yes. You're taking both wounds, you're putting one up there. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. If you don't, um, I will call in a hit on you. <laughs> then you would totally waste it because it doesn't work if you call in a hit on a no, witness. That's I would, what I told you. I would end the game at, uh, at 40 minutes. And uh -huh. I would end it with a victory 
and you'd have to go home and be excited for the next time we play together. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. Uh, isn't that a card I put up there? Oh no, that's a card that I, I put on the top of the deck for you to draw. Yeah, and it's cool. a completely useless card because I have no allies. It's not useless. I mean, if I had allies, it would be helpful. No, if I had allies, it would be helpful. You do? Okay, my processing is going to be the medic card. Uh, heal one wound. Uh, Look at that. So, I'm going back up to four, so we are going to be, you're still going to be healthier than me at the end of this whole so cycle. I'm going to take two points of damage. Okay. As requested. Same event goes back down here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You draw up first. Yep. One card. I drop one card. Okay. All right. And uh, I can't move. Oh, no, it's my turn. That's right. I am going to move forward. <clears throat> yep. I am also going to... Ugh, the broken road. I'm going to discard the whole row to go ahead and gain me some health. Good. You should. Um, Look at that. Look at us working together as a team. We are working together as a team. But you really need to help me move. Amazing. That's all I'm saying. You need to clear your condition. I have nothing to clear your condition. Well, then you need How to find this? something no, to clear my condition. if I get a condition card that... If I get a card that allows you to clear your condition, I will put it up there even if it negatively affects me. Sounds like a plan. That's what I'll do for you. This is Unseen. Uh, the health is going to be four. Uh, and this is going to deal you three damage. And there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. That is terrible. Uh, absolutely nothing you can do about that. There really isn't. Just dealing three points of damage straight out. Remember, and magically, it's a hidden yeah. card. Remember remember that time? Well, first off, it is a hidden card. I can't lie about that. I know. Uh, second off, oh, that, uh, that doesn't help. What a shame. Uh, remember when I had to take those two pieces of damage? It's because some of the cards say you can't give it to the other player at all. Mm -hmm. This is one of those. So, yeah. Um, that's what you claim. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Okay. You're a very grumbly, fellow. I'm just saying, you're, you're like, you know. You're, you're surprisingly doing grumbly. things. All right. Fuss and stuff. Yeah, just. Uh, okay. Ready to go. This bond chain's really being very bad. Not the best thing you've done, certainly, especially stealing cards from me. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Yep. This is going to be the duck. Uh, move forward an exact distance based on your starting location. I'm in the night, so I'm going to move forward two roads, which is allowing me going to get over the broken road, which is part of... Mm -hmm. The game's puzzle. So Makes that sense. goes there. This goes here. I get to choose one of these cards to pull back up into my hand. Uh, sometimes, if the other player is behind you on the road after your movement, they hmm. receive one wound. I hmm. actually didn't read that hmm. until I played it. He didn't read I that. I do love the duck card, though. I tried to talk them into sketching little horns on top of it. They didn't do that. But hmm. for, if they ever have a reprint, I am going to insist. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will take one wound. Yep. Mm. Uh, and I hope you did damage. Uh, maybe. So here is a gun. Uh, keep as a condition. Oh, I'm I'm also, I have totally been cheating. One, one. I believe both of those you have to take damage for. Well, and I think they might discard. So go ahead and check the rule book. They and might, they might steal cards from your hand too. But I should definitely be up two damage at least. Yes. Um, I, that's the one thing I always forget because I get absorbed into this and then I'm like well you know when you're trying so difficult you know to make uh, things happen to the other person instead of trying to win uh, with both of us together I feel like you could uh, do a better job with that where is it in the front cards okay ambush uh, if you land on a road with circle number in the lower right, you must randomly discard that number of cards and receive that number of wounds yeah. in that order. So, um, this number of cards needs to be, I mean, I should lose two cards. Yep. And it sucks because that's actually a limited pool now. Yep. Um, so we have they to... randomly, these randomly discard. This is technically supposed to be face down. So yes. we'll go ahead and establish that as face down because it's hidden information. <laughs> Nothing up to this point has been hidden. Uh, and now I reveal... So, but just for the record, condition is use bullets. Gun allows you to use bullets. Once out, the gun may, may be mm -hmm. transferred to the controlling player. 
to the other player at any time. Yep. So I could actually give him the gun if necessary. Yeah, when I have some bullets. Right. Uh, my next card is Advantage. Heal two wounds. If you're at least three roads in front of the other player, heal two of your wounds. So I'm going back. One, two. Okay. I have a bullet, so I'm going to deal two damage. Your bullet doesn't match the gun. What? It just says use bullets. You still have to be able to play them. Why? It doesn't have to match. Yes, it does. Are you serious? Yeah, because this... So that's the interesting thing about the gun. The gun can be played out, but most of the bullets do not match the gun. Which means the gun needs to be revealed in order for the bullets to be loaded and used. Hmm. It's 100% how it works. Well, we've never actually had a gun show up before when we've played. We've always, uh, you know, been nice to one yeah. another. You still you still have to absolutely follow the, uh, the rules. Now, you're dealing two. Okay. By the way, the health is four. Yeah, well, did I'm you, not dealing you, any you damage, apparently. Bullets? You had two bullets that you were trying to play? No, I didn't have any. I was going to just do other things, but apparently that's a bad play. Well, keep your bullet in your hand because you couldn't have played that. Okay. Uh, did but you I have, have to. Did you have a way? You don't have to. I do. I knew you drew it up. I do. You can't play that. It's not only you have to, you cannot then play Then I that. have to play something else. Why? Because the whole point of me playing three cards was okay. to be able to do this. I understand. Here. So you need another royal card if you're putting that card down. I don't have another royal card. Then I'm very sorry for you. Fine. Then I'll just keep all these other cards. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. <laughs> we'll pretend that I didn't play any of that stuff. I mean, okay, I, knew, no, I, I knew you had a bullet. You didn't reveal any, any additional information. Mm -hmm. But I don't get to bury anything now. You do Which not... is very unfortunate. What were you hoping to do with your berry action? I was going to search the deck for something. So that I could make more points. I hear. I hear. Kind of hoping that I could heal some wounds. Because I'm okay. about to take two more points of damage. So if it, if it's any consolidation... Because someone keeps hurting me. Yeah, if it's any cons consolidation to you, I lost some significant cards mm -hmm. on that discard action. Mm -hmm. So that stinks. Uh, I'm going to draw up. And how much damage am I taking? One, two, three, four. You are taking, I believe it was three. You believe it was three. Uh, here's the question. Does it, it does change because we resolve after I move. So you're taking one damage, not three. Because you're not next to me? Because I'm not in the yellow number. Ah. So I believe I actually saved you from two of that damage. Well, the, you still gave me a damage, You're so welcome. technically I only took one less damage. You're but welcome. I guess now at five yeah. points of damage. No, I hear what you're saying. Guess who's been at, like, five points of damage most of the game? Oh, me. You know why? Because someone decided to put a chain and shackle on his leg and try to murder me. Guess who didn't actually try to murder you and who has healed you throughout the game? Yeah. And I need to draw it's one. Six cards card. is our max or seven cards is our max? Seven. Seven cards is our max? That's correct. Uh, you sure? Yes. Okay. Because it's six cards plus the... Plus your column hit. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, since I can't move, because someone hasn't gotten rid of my condition yet, I will take an Let event. Let me check all the cards I just Which got. is yet another scene event. We only have to deal one point of damage. But if we can't deal one point of damage, we are going to take four points of damage. <gasps> what? Yes. You're going to take at least three points of damage. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Can you do this? I can help you if you can do this. I can definitely do one point of damage, yes. I am I am really gonna do a show of trust here. Good. You need to at this point. Absolute idiot. So because I can't use buses, I can't even play a bus card, right? Yeah. That is very unfortunate. No. Nope. Because to get to three where I need to go is not good. Can you actually actually here? I have I ha I literally have a solution. Okay. I will take care of your condition okay. and take care of this event, meaning you can play anything you want on this turn okay. as long as you toss me the gun. You can throw it to me anytime. I have a bullet I want to play. It matches the card that clears your condition. That clears my condition? Yep. Okay. So I give you the gun. Toss me the gun. 
you're going to clear my condition. I'm going to clear your condition and take care of this. And event. take care of this, and then I can do anything I want. Well, not, you can't do anything you want, but you can play any card. I'm taking care of all the effects, so you can play any card you want. That's I need nice to heal myself. Which heal is yourself. Yes. Going to be bad for you, unfortunately, <laughs> because I, only I'm cards I have are heal and deal. I'm fine with that. Toss me, toss me the gun, and I will get. I will do all of that. And I'm not only taking care of your condition, for the record. I am. Uh, I'm going to put myself in a lot of trouble for you, just so you know. So try. To okay, I can't even heal myself actually because you're too far away now. Okay. Well, this is going to help you. You're going to be able to start moving. The reality Great. is, if you are an ally, you need to be up there with me. I'm going to give you that because it's helpful for you. Okay. Okay? Cool. All right. So, show of trust. That's your play. Can you trust me the gun? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Mm. Uh, all right. You want to see how this works? Let's see how it works. Read that card. It says, contention. Steal a condition. You may take control of any condition card controlled by the other player. Offer this card. Take the other player may choose to take a condition into their hand. If they do so, they receive one wound. So, I will give you this. Yep. There you go. And then, um... You can take this card into your hand. If you do, you receive one wound. No. Okay. So this is going to be discarded. My second card. Bullet. I take care of the event for you. Okay. But it doesn't match. It doesn't have to match this. It has to match to play in a sequence. But it didn't match. You have to have... To play an order of cards. Right. What do you have to have? Any three cards. No, a matching symbol in the top corner. No, you don't. How did... If you... How, how would you play this one first and that one yeah, third? Because my middle card in that stack specifically said to add another non-suit card to the stack. Hmm. Okay. Have you been breaking that rule? Apparently so. But I've not done it very much. You really haven't done it very much. No. Uh, okay. So that, the bullet activates with the gun in play. Okay. However, I cannot play the bullet and the gun at the same time because the gun is a royal card and the bullet was a uh, lilac card. Got it. Makes sense? Okay. Okay. The last card here is sneakers, which doesn't affect the ball and chain. Uh, so I can go ahead and move one, two, forward. And you have another ambush card. And I'm going to land there. I don't have another ambush card, do I? Oh, I move across that. Mm -hmm. Do you? I don't. I think if you think stop it's only on it, if you it's land only if you on stop it. on it. Yeah, I think I. Yeah. Um, so I'm pausing there. Now I played three lilac, so I'm going to go ahead and draw up three cards. Yeah, it's only if you land. On and it. add them. Actually, I'm not going to draw three cards. I'm not burying anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. Um, I think I'm going to pay off my person. Really? I, I could move my gas marker. The other player chooses to discard half of their buried cards. That feels punitive. I'll I'll start by doing restoration. I will I will go ahead and uh, I need to play two matching cards from this, which I have. So I'm going to put these down here. They are both royals. Okay. They're going to pop there. That is going to pile here, and I will go ahead and restore my last gasp uh, back to back to full health. Okay. Uh, now, I skip my movement phase. That's what I've done for you, if you realize that. Okay. I'm now at the end of the road, but I'm also stuck here until you come help me. Well, now I can finally actually move, and it really sucks because I gave away my bus, but oh well. You still can't play it. Your uh, scout, I get rid of your my scout guy, is yeah. still a problem for you. So that's the end yes. of... Is this your... This is your turn, right? I just it handled is, this yep. for you. That hops in there. You draw up first, so you could take the bus ticket back if you wanted. I can't use it because of my guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I can't use it because I'm at the last bus stop. So it doesn't really do us either much good. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got a teamwork card in my hand, which is really helpful. Luckily, I have another bullet. So I can hold on to the gun and go ahead and use that when necessary. And um, this you can do at any time, right? You can, like toss you it can back transfer and forth back and forth. Yeah. Okay. I have a bullet as well. So okay. if we need to, we can do four points of damage. I can toss it to you, then you can toss it back to me. Yes, or cool. vice versa. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw an event card if you're ready for it. Yep. This is unseen. Uh, we need to do three damage to it. Okay. And if we don't, it's going to be uh, hitting us for four. It's based off my red number up there, which is absolutely terrifying. 
Okay. So standing here is actually a horrible thing to do. So the good news is we can definitely do three points of damage. Okay. Um, or we could just prevent the event right out of the gate. Up to you. Prevent the event. How are we going to prevent it? Um, we have teamwork, right? Uh, but... Of the, of the prevent the effects of the event. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've both got. Let's do teamwork. Okay, this one's pretty brutal. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I can play with that. I'm just gonna do teamwork. All right, ready to go with you. Yep. You start flipping. Teamwork. 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 Clearing the event. Nothing's gonna happen. Uh, this pops up here into the discard pile. Um, that is. You draw. Yeah, my turn. I do draw. The bus doesn't help. The bus doesn't help at all. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm finally going to get to move, but yep. that is an ambush, which really sucks. Discard a random card from your hand and take a point of damage. So, we'll cycle that one. Okay. And I take a point of damage. I'm now at six <laughs> points of damage, for the record. Yeah, I was there for a little bit. Yeah. This, you have to play all in the same suit, is really not good. Because it's really hard to get to that third royal card. That's kind of the point. Amber cards are really the the strong preference. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost as if following the rules of the game makes it more difficult. Well, okay. Especially event. when you're the betrayer. Magically, another scene event. It's a dust up. Both players receive one wound. Literally nothing we can do about it. Unless we have the cancel the event card. Unless we have the cancel the event card. And we just use the cancel the event card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Well. I sh should have seven. Why do I only have six? Did you not draw up? Apparently not. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm I'm ready for. So hold on a second. If you have to play all in the same suit, mm -hmm. then what if the cards you play don't really work? What do you mean? Like if it's a sometimes card, but the effect doesn't happen. Just I believe it just cancels out. Okay, cool. I believe it can just be a dead card. <coughs> Okay. <sighs> Ready to go? Yep. This was your event, so you this start off mine. Top. Yes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is burn cards. So okay. deal the top five cards of the action deck face down into the discard pile. Very convenient. So one, two, Are three, looking four, for something? and five. Okay. And then uh, take the card from the draw pile. Search the action deck for any card okay. and place it in your hand. Shuffle the deck afterwards. So you get to look through that and yep. pick a card. That I do. Interesting. Hopefully I can find something to heal myself. Because it's been a bad day. Yeah. Is that what you're looking for? I definitely need to heal myself. Health yes. specifically. Health specifically. Not like murder cards. But unfortunately anything. there's absolutely <coughs> no... <coughs> you wouldn't look for murder cards, would you? I am not trying to find any murder cards at all. Okay. Good. This is terrible. Um, yeah, really conflicted. Yeah. Man, I feel for you. Okay, I'm gonna take this card. It's not what I want, but it is better than okay. nothing. I'm gonna flip mine. Okay. Uh, a show of trust. Okay. I'm gonna show you my hand. Okay. You're welcome to look at it. Mm -hmm. And then you have the option of showing me your hand. I would love to see it considering you just went hunting for a card. You can see there's nothing negative in there specifically for you. In mm. fact, the extra benefit card I got there's heals me. still some definite negatives in here. Certainly not. Uh, redirect wounds? Yeah. S send them to me. Ricochet's in there. Has yeah. it been played? Not yet. Okay. See that health card I got? Uh-huh. Yeah. That powerful card where I could have taken one that just murders you immediately? Yep. 
Let's Emily see. Let's see what you have in here. I'm a witness. Uh, okay. Deal one wound to me. Oh, deal, notice deal I've had those since the very me. beginning okay. of the game, okay. and I have yet to play them, have I? Okay. Take some ally cards. Heal and deal wounds. Interesting. Which Three. I have said multiple times, yeah. I can heal myself, but I hurt you in yeah. doing the process. Three cards in there that are specifically built around hurting the other player. As you have hurting the other player cards as well. I don't think so. Yes, you do. I don't think so, but you're certainly helping me Why make Why would mind. I have shown you my hand if I didn't trust you? And Certainly I didn't want you to trust because me. Because there's a hard it's bluff. My you have turn to make. now. Because there's because I put you in an uncompromising I'm position. Strength in numbers. Yeah. Doesn't do anything because you don't have one. Okay. Um, and then I am doing flashback. Shuffle the discard pile. And then, uh, <laughs> so take a card from the discard uh -huh. pile. I'm so sad. My card came a little bit too late because now you're gonna find the card that you're looking for. I'm looking for a heal card. You have three in your hand. No, you have deal damage cards in your hand. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the, I do have heal cards, but they also are, if you're within one road of the other person, heal one for you and deal one to them. I'm just looking for the one that's like heal sure. three. You know what? Let's let's choose to trust each other. I think we should. Yeah, let's choose to trust each other. That would be good. I'm just looking for, let's see here, heal ones whenever you want. Okay. There's got to be one in here that's like heal four or something. two of your wounds. Die at the end if any turn ends with you at the end of the road. So the Pied Piper is terrible because the Pied Piper is a card. That, that, well, the Pied Piper is a card that gets played by the villain. Yeah. And uh, they just—it's basically them revealing themselves and going for the kill. It can be great. It's a great turn of events, but it's a brutal card. These, there is nothing in here that does more than one heal. So I took a card that says I can heal. Okay. Okay. And that also means I got three, So and they are royal. So I can now do this. But one of the good things is, hopefully, I doubt I have seven points here, but I could heal one of my wounds and move backwards until I reach something. But I could at least heal, but I don't have the ability to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have the ability to do that. So, um... You don't have seven total, total value in there? No. Okay. I have six. Mm. <sighs> All right. I am going to... <coughs> Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put... I'm going to discard one card... Um, so that I can draw two random ally cards. Okay. Oh, wait. These are in an order, right? They are currently, yeah. You want me to go ahead and just... You suss out from the middle. Just grab. Okay, one from there, and then one from here. How about that? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> that was incredibly unhelpful. All right, but it is what it is. So that was my action card, right? Mm -hmm. You drop first. Yep, four, five, six. And did we resolve this? We didn't. So both of us are taking one wound. I'm now at seven. You really should take more because it says we both take one. Yeah, but I'm just saying, in the future, this is really not good. <gasps> I'm literally two points away from death. Okay, I cannot move forward because I took your ball and chain for myself. Mm -hmm. Took your struggles upon myself. This is unseen. Uh, <laughs> Always unseen with him. I haven't had one. Okay. This this is also going to be perfectly fine. Great. My effects are not uh, not too negative, really. Um, I think I'm going to do, hmm, I'm going to do a discard action. Okay. Oh, I never drew up, by the way. Okay.
Interesting. All right, discarding down, which means at the end of the turn, I will draw back up your turn. Go ahead and... I'm healing one damage. Nice. And this which is... Which was the card I took. By the I remember way. that. I do. I'll acknowledge that. Uh, then I'm going to draw back up. That event did nothing. So I'm drawing up one, drawing up two. Is that all you needed? Yep, that's okay. all I needed. Your turn to go. Man, I got another... How am I going to get past this if I can only move one at a time? You, you need shoes, you need something. Which I can't do until I get rid of this. Not here. <sighs> move one forward. I am... Actually, I need to stay here. Why? Because I'm going to take another point of damage. It puts me at seven. Yeah? Ugh. He better find a way to heal me. That's all I'm saying. If you really are the witness, you got to get up there with me. I'm well aware. I need your help. You can pay off mine as well, you know. Mm -hmm. For eight. I could. And I would be able to use that you bus have, ticket. You have cards. I'm go literally and, at the bus right now. I could go all the way so, up to where so you are. So go ahead and go ahead and play. It only costs you five. You said you had six. Go ahead and get rid I of it. I got rid of one of mine. Go ahead. Go ahead and you have... I a, can't get to you it. You have an amber in your hand. You have I to. do not have any ambers in my hand at all. And I don't have any royals in my hand because I played those the last time. To get to it, to be able to take two random ally cards. It's probably a dumb move. But I don't have enough. I literally only have three. There's no way for me to have that because they don't all match. Believe me, I wish I did. Mm -hmm. Once I have an amber, then I can play it, and then I'll be able to get the card, and then I will have enough to pay it off. So I won't be able to help you this turn, but maybe next turn. Okay. <gasps> so it's my event. It's your event. Come on. Hey, it's finally Public. unseen. Okay, <laughs> this is going to come across really bad. Yeah. Um, is. This is an unseen incident, and it is an opportunity. I'm literally going to read this card directly. And the, I, I, how many of you can show the audience that I'm being truthful so they'll know that I'm really the witness when you kill I'll, me? I'll close my eyes. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Probably not. Maybe you can. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Uh, here it is, the effect. The other player receives two wounds. That's it. And then I heal one wound. <laughs> oh, I, that's literally what it no. says. That is literally yeah, that's what it says. Uh-huh. I, 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 how can I lie about an event? I believe you. Okay, can I open my eyes? Yeah, you may open your eyes. <sighs> all right, fine. I'm taking two wounds, you're healing one? That is literally what it says. That's a problem. That's a real problem, my friend. Mm hmm. You're healing one, though. Do you have a teamwork? I do not have a teamwork. Okay. Alright. Yeah, because I lost a card in moving. Stinks. And that probably was a team. That stinks. Mm -hmm. I don't even have anything good to do here. Um, but I... I'm going to try to find a lilac and an amber card to help you out, just for the record. Why? What's an amber? What's a lilac card going to do for me? For me. So that I can discard your helper. There is a lilac card. It's got to be three deep, which is the thing that's difficult. I have it more. Helps me. It helps me, but it's got to be three deep. I have okay. more. Okay. Okay, so we're resolving okay. mine. Yep. I am doing ricochet, which means the net zero is you will take one damage. Okay. Instead of me taking two and uh, you That seems one. rather sus, but okay. Not sus at all. It is better than the team taking two damage. It's better team. Hmm? It's you taking two damage. Hmm? So I just take one damage when I'm already at seven and you're at you realize four. I'm standing at the end of the road waiting for you. And I would love to get there, but I can't get past here. I would love to help you. Draw up, please. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
six and seven. <sighs> Ridiculous. All right. I still don't have what I need, but I'm getting closer and closer. Checking the event. It is unseen. Of course it is. Oh wait, I pulled from the wrong deck. So you <laughs> saw exactly what I said. It is exactly what you said. Uh, that's the problem with these decks getting close to the same height. Mm -hmm. Health is one. Uh, you would receive two wounds. And if we defeat it... Oh. I can get you over the road. You need to do a damage to this. I'll get you over the road. You have to give me the gun. To do damage? Yep. I can do a damage to this, and I will get you over the road. Not a problem. I'm going to help you out. Um, I have a way to prevent myself from dying. But it okay. requires uh, <laughs> you or I to receive two wounds. I can't receive two wounds. You can. <laughs> I'm helping you. I appreciate that. You're a monster. It all it will prevent I will be able to take wounds from a very bad event in You're the future. Person. Okay, let's go. If we do it that let's if go. we do this. I'm playing a bullet. Bullet's gonna activate with the gun, that's gonna deal enough damage here. Perfect. Okay. This is the well. Okay. So you take two damage, but in the future I will take a big event damage and I can negate the entire thing. Okay? <laughs> that's why I have it. You can move forward two roads. Nice. Very nice. When you move over the broken road, you're going to get an action card. Okay. Nope. Ooh, one of these. Ooh. Okay, drawing up. And you draw up. <laughs> I. How can I get rid of a card that I don't want? What do you mean? Like... You can discard I, two. You can always discard two. Okay. I can discard two before I draw up? Or just as my turn? No, as your discard. turn, you can mm. always discard two. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> instead of moving? No, you can move. No, no, no. As your action, instead of playing mm. cards. Okay. Did you draw up? I did. Oh, yeah, no, you drew up that one. Yeah. Six, seven, yeah, no, it's seven. Okay, you want to take a step forward? <clears throat> Unfortunately, yes. <sighs> okay, I'm up by one. Take a card. Take a damage as well. Please be the bad one. Oh my gosh, eight points of damage? Your health isn't there? No. Well. And you took a good card that would have been very helpful. That is not good. Okay. Here's an event. <sighs> It's a scene. Opposition. <clears throat> number of road cards. The health is the number of road cards separating you and the other player. Hey, we're only one away. That's fantastic. Um, we would receive three wounds if mm -hmm. we can't defeat it. So we just need to do one point of damage. Are you going to deal with this? Um, yes. Are you going to get rid of my guy? I still can't. And I'm still stuck here with the ball and chain, by the way. Hmm. Just so you know. Okay. Um, I will move you, and I will take care of the bad things happening. So, I got it. Okay. And then if you're doing that, I will go ahead and play a teamwork card up there for us to utilize. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready to you. Yep. All right. I'm going to compel you to move two spaces forward, or you receive one wound. Or I receive one wound? Or. So, move <clears throat> two spaces forward, so that way you are compelled to move. Mm -hmm. Could I have chosen which one of these I wanted to take? Mm -hmm. Well, then I want to look at this other one, because I really didn't want the one I had. Did you not choose? No, I just took the top one. Perfect. It's way better. Okay. 
<sighs> Take that. <coughs> and then the next one is uh, deal one wound. So I'm dealing one wound to this guy. Mm -hmm. And then all event processing ends. I, I think we have a problem. What's that? Oh, it's now? Hmm. Then I'll play these in another... I guess I'll just keep this one then. Just kidding. I'll just deal one right away and we're done. You, you can't because you already moved me forward. Well, that's a problem. Because... Can you take two? I can't. This is... We're... You can take oh, one. Oh, wait. I'll take it all. Because I can get rid of it. That's... Yes. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Did you have it? You, because you played one up there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, I will take the damage. I'll use my well, and we're good. Okay. And then I draw up one, two, four, five, six, and then we shuffle for my seven. We're really close. Are you trying to make it to the end? I am trying to make it to the end. I moved, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And I moved you to the end. So that that way we're there. Oh. Okay. I promise you, I'm a witness. Okay. If this was a witness witness game, this is a really tense witness witness it, game. This Oh, this game is always <laughs> really tense. No I'm just saying. What we do. I'm just saying, if this was a witness witness game, it is a witness witness game unless you're not a witness. That's what I'm saying. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you're not a here's witness. The, here's the fun part though. Then if this was a witness witness game, the next time you and I sit down and play this, mm -hmm. our dynamic is completely different. You know what I mean? Like it's. it's yeah. Because I, I don't trust it. you at all. That is a terrible thing to say to your friend. You trust me? <sighs> Great. You're always sus though. I'm not always <laughs> sus. You are. I still kind of want to kill you though. You really shouldn't, because Still. that will make sure the game is over, unless you're faking it. I'm worried about you getting closer and closer to me, but... I'm telling you this right now, I'm not going to hurt you unless I absolutely have to, and it is my goal to get out of here okay. just like you. Alright, alright, alright. My event? Right? Yep. Scene. <laughs> Both players receive two wounds, like the top two cards of the event... Pile, return one to the top of the pile and discard the other. I can't take two points of damage. Neither can we. Neither one of us can really take two points of damage. Anything to cancel it? Nope. This is death. It's not. You might have last gasp. But last gasp is not going to. Like you still have to play cards, right? Uh, I mean, you you still have to play cards to heal. Yeah. Do you have a bonus that allows you to draw up cards though on your last gasp, like mine does? What do you mean? When I reach max wounds, I pay up to five to draw that many cards. Discard down to to seven. Yeah. But I don't have five points. But you might have three points at least. So you could draw three cards, hunting for a yes, health. That definitely could happen. <clears throat> I can't heal you. And honestly, I can barely heal myself. This is terrible. But you have something that you can heal yourself with? I mean, no. I mean, call on the medic. You have to heal. You have to hit me. I have to hit you. So I need you to be able to heal yourself, to bounce back. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do this because it's the only way I survive. But um, I might be being an idiot. We're in the dark, though, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Man. Wow, if I had seven, I could do the hideout. I still have to pay off my deck, too. That's a big problem. Mm-hmm. All right. I literally have <sighs> nothing here. This is really, really, really bad. I've taken care of myself. I need you to handle it. I can't handle it. Go ahead and There's flip. literally nothing yeah. I can do. It's Go. you first. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, heal two of my wounds, discarding my entire hand, and I remove this card from the game. Wait. I'm going to copy that exact same card. Wow! So that's heal... I heal two. Two? And okay. then we're going to take two back, so I stay exactly where I am. Yep. Both of our hands get... Completely discarded. Oh, wait. Discarded. Yep. Wow, that's insane. Yep. That's crazy. That came at a perfect time. I'm good move unless you're uh, trying to murder me. I'm definitely not trying to murder you. Because again, <sighs> witness. <clears throat> now the benefit was that I get to look at two of these, keep one and discard the other. Does that mean I get to do the same thing? No. Are you sure? Because it says exact copy. The benefit of this. Oh, of that. Got it. Okay. Dang. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this one. This one's going to come with damage associated with it. Uh, it's going to be hidden. It comes with damage associated with it. But the benefit is it'll allow you to move forward a bit. So. Um, I can't take damage. I will be. We'll be okay. I think. Okay. My turn. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to move forward one. Ugh, this is ridiculous. I lost my really good card, too, which totally sucks. Um... <coughs> okay. It is an unseen card, but you've already seen it. Mm -hmm. um, so it is two is the health. And if we defeat it, it allows me to move... To the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. I should have looked at my cards before I did that, but I wouldn't have drawn up before I did that, so it's actually good that I didn't. Two. We need to do two points of damage. Can you handle that? I can deal one. You have any bullets? No. I did, but not anymore. I can do one. Can you do one? Mm -mm. I can deal four. Okay. But we take two wounds. I can't. Can you take two wounds? Mm -mm. We each take two wounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a grenade. I still have to... <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. I still have to get rid of... We both have to get rid of our lilac cards, too, still. We have to Not get rid lilac. Of... We, both, we both still have to get rid of our <clears throat> people. Mm hmm Hmm... <sighs> oh man. This is really bad. Don't disagree. You can't deal any damage at all. You can't even deal one point of damage. No, I wish I could. Do you have teamwork? I have chameleon. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Teamwork. Chameleon. Canceling the event, sadly. Um, I kind of wanted that to trigger. You're not going to move forward. Good news is I actually have uh, the first amber, so I can draw or I can look for a specific one. Can you just cancel yours already? Um, Please? I am going to cancel it right now. Because I'm going to look... You're to... not, because you only get to do one, uh, either bury or redeem. Right. I'm going to bury, search <coughs> the deck for any action and bury it. That doesn't That doesn't get rid of your person. Right, but I don't have enough m things to do it right now. I have to get one more so that I can. Okay. Because I only have yeah, I, yeah. four. I understand. All right, you found the color you were looking for? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I drop a card. This mm -hmm. is your card or my card? You just resolved. That's yeah, your card? Card. 
This card's my card. Doesn't help. Alright, I'm drawing up an event. Okay. Mm. We would receive three wounds each. That is not going to happen. We need to resolve this. How much damage do we have to do? It's not. It's an event. Ugh, and we just used our teamwork. Mm -hmm. <sighs> There's no way. Um, hold on. No, there's no, nothing I can do. We each receive two wounds? Uh, we each receive three wounds. Three wounds. <clears throat> can I have... I know it's we've already seen information. I could have drawn up a lilac card from up there. Mm -hmm. Could I have done that instead of drawing a card? Or is it too late now that I already have information? <sighs> I feel like it's probably too late, but yeah. at the same time, I don't want this to happen. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Um, so I have a I have a solution. Mm -hmm. Can you take two points of damage? Not without struggling to survive. Okay, if you take two <laughs> points of damage, I can... Oh, we each take three though, right? We each take three. <sighs> okay, well that's not going to work. Um... What does that card do that you were trying to get to just it would prov It would basically, it's that well card, would it allow me to take the damage, but it only is damage that just goes to me. So if it's truly three to each, and it's not six to one, then... It's three to each, but your well card would allow you to block it, and I could try to last gasp, which is... I could try. I don't have anything, but I could try. So, I... <sighs> Yeah, and I can't use this stupid lilac card to, because it doesn't match the, because I have a way to heal you for one, but then I would definitely die. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, do you have something in your hand that would fix a last gasp for you? No. No. Nope. So I'd have to go hunting. Okay, I have a solution. Mm-hmm. I have a reconsider, and which would basically allow us to shuffle our entire hands and the action discard pile into the action deck, yep. and then both players draw, and we could do it again if necessary. Sure. But the problem is, I have to heal as well, because I'm going to take that amount of damage, and I can't do it. Both of us are going to need to find stuff for a last gasp, is what you're saying. Correct. Let's try. So it's probably our best bet. Probably so. Okay, what are we doing? You're flipping? I mean, I can play down a card at least, so I can play down this here to start with, which is going to give us a health bonus at the beginning. Of the movement phase, right? <laughs> it doesn't help us right now, yeah, but right. what does yours do? This is, we're going to take our entire hands, Okay. Um, shuffle both entire hands and the action discard pile into the action deck, and then both players draw seven action cards. Wow. So, there is definitely one heal card in there. Well, there's a few. Okay, good. So there's and a chance. Last Gasp doesn't spill over. Last Gasp is as long as you find a heal, right. you get a heal. <clears throat> <clears throat> you know what I mean? And that's with our Underground Market, right? Uh, no, the Underground Market would allow you to also draw up and hunt a little bit more efficiently. Okay. So let's give this a look. Oh, this is terrible. If you'd worked with me more at the beginning. If you didn't try to kill me constantly. <laughs> I didn't try to kill you once. Um, I could heal you. Can you do that in a last gasp, though? No. I could heal myself. <sighs> I can at all. I, I, <clears throat> there's an, nothing I can do to heal myself in this hand. Because... You are more... I'm not three roads ahead of you. Okay. Here's the thing, though. I found I found a heal. Wait. Are you sure that there are... Wait. Well, okay. Because I can't play another card, right? When when you hit last gasp, you'll, you'll be able to play. I can play a card from my hand? <laughs> yeah, when you hit last gasp. But it's got to heal you then and there. Okay. Um... 
the and you're sure that there are heal cards in the discard pile. In the discard, I am sure there's heal cards in that draw pile. So the best bet is, no, I have I have a heal card in my hand. The best bet is for us to what take. What did you his do damage. in the discard pile? I shuffled it all together. That's what it said to do. No, it did not. It said it, our hands and the discard pile. Don't put it back in the entire action cards. Your hands and the action pot. You shuffle both players' entire hands and the action discard pile into the action deck. Oh, well, crap. That's not going to work because now you want to go hunting. You're yeah, not, I not. have a card that can allow me to hunt. Yeah, but that wouldn't allow you to hunt and play that card. Last oh. gasp is your last chance. So here's got here's it. what I'm proposing. Okay. I've got a health. Mm -hmm. One of us could survive this for sure. Okay. The best bet is to take the damage now. Both of us go into last gasp. I guarantee to survive, and you hunt for a card. Or we do this one more time. I have a health. But if I die, you the game is over for you, too. You want another gamble at it? Because, I mean, if, if there's I'm no just, way... I'm saying the odds are I have a health now. Right. Which is one out of the two of us that need it. I mean, I can discard down to five. And you... And Although the problem is you, you, you won't... If you did that, you won't... All right, let's do it again. Well, it's if I'm trusting that. you, if I'm trusting you, you also need to clear your person before we win. Correct. So. Because there's no way to win. It doesn't work. Right. Because you just got enough... To mm -hmm. be able to clear your person. I have a few cards in my deck. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have enough to clear my person. Just enough, though. If you had to spend it to find a card to heal. Yes. It wouldn't work. Give it a look. Hmm. <sighs> Um, I have a health. Perfect. You have a health? I have a repetition card, so I can do... You couldn't, because you're not repeating me. We can check the condition for repetition. Process repetition as though it has the same affected text as any action card that has been revealed in any action play this turn. Exclude text stating to take the card as a condition. So it doesn't say I can't. Hold I... it, uh... <sighs> Bus ticket. Okay, I, I mean, as long as I reveal first, I think you'd be able to use that. As long as I reveal first. Which uh, I am... Do I... So, I actually, hold on one second. Um, I can play any cards from my hand, right? If, when I do it, the last gas. It follows the same order as an action play. Okay. You must play a set of matching cards. Ah, oh, that's not going to work. Then. Nope. But your reposition could help us. Your reposition could heal both of us. Okay. All, All right. right. Let's do it. So, this happens. We take... This is my event or your event? It's your event. My event. We take three damage. Okay. That is going to ping me beyond mine. I reveal who I am. I am the character, the Urbanite. I have no special abilities, but I have eight health. Okay. I stack up one last gasp. Mm -hmm. I am then going to be able to do a action sequence. I am playing medicine. Medicine heals one wound from either me or the other player. I will heal one wound, and I am still alive at the end of my last gasp. Okay. That card's been revealed. You now do the same thing. Take three damage. Reveal who you are. <laughs> Character, I... not roll, not roll. <laughs> I am now the pugilist. During my last gasp action... I received no healed wounds from a doctor's bag. Okay. So I'm now up, but I'm going to hit repetition, and I'm going to copy this. Okay. That means that I'm now at eight. Clearly, I've decided to trust you. Please make it to the end of the road. Let's let's just finish this off. Because okay. at this point, if you're really the villain, you're ridiculous. I agree. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Okay. That was my event. That was yours, yep. All right. So, unfortunately, I lost a really good thing that I can do. Yeah, so, we both lost everything from our hands. Yep. Moving forward, discarding one, you're taking one damage. <sighs> you can choose not to move forward. I, ha I can't. Okay. I just can't. Uh, um, wipe this. No, wipe that to heal. Yes. And then you take a damage, but it's not deathly. Okay. So, I'm wiping this, doing that, moving. Okay. Yeah, still the same, blah, blah, blah. 
Awesome. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't look at that. These should be these are should be face down. That's yep. why I looked at it because I was thinking I was discarding face up. Okay. All right. And now we have an event. <laughs> Scene. Uh, we have to do three points of damage. Uh, ooh, we I, would receive four wounds. I can do two. Okay. Uh, you don't have a strength in numbers or a chameleon or anything, do you? I don't, but I I didn't draw up either though. So let me go ahead and draw up my one card. Okay. I can do two still. I can do one. Man. <sighs> you can do one. That's all we need. Oh. Okay, perfect. That's all we need. Great. Unless you move forward. Just don't move forward. I'm not moving forward. Okay. Ready to go? Yep. <sighs> Curtains deal one wound. Okay. Uh, oh, dang. What's that do? That stops all processing. I can't use this one. Why not? Because it, it stops all action processing right there. You got to put something ahead of it. Yes. That's... Okay. Yes, I can do that. Okay. You go. I okay. now shoot. Then you go. Now action processing stops, right? Yep, and no, none of us take damage, so the ricochet doesn't affect you. Awesome. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, it's my turn. Well, we got to draw up first. Yep, I draw a card. You draw a card. I got to draw three cards. Uh, okay, sorry. It's you okay. draw one. You draw three. Thank you. I draw one. Got teamwork, which is... I need an amber. I need an amber or more health. Agreed. All right. On to my turn. You don't have anyone to heal me, do you? Um, no. Well, I can put a lilac card up there, and, and you can heal yourself the next round. Health is three, and it's going okay. to you specifically. I can do one point of damage. I can do two. Wait, I can do four points of damage. That would be amazing. Yes, I can do four points of damage. I need another. <clears throat> I need another lilac card, though. Well, I can do four points of damage, and I can give you a lilac card next time. <clears throat> this is brutal. This is brutal. Uh, I'm gonna discard two cards from my hand. Okay. So that I can draw up, hunting for a lilac or a uh... strength in numbers. Baseball bat deals one wound to the event yep. opposition, and strength in numbers. So deals five points total in damage. Strength in numbers. What's it say? It says, has either been revealed in either player's action play this turn. I, I believe strength in numbers must be revealed. I think teamwork <laughs> has to be done in the other player's hand. Because this specifically says either player's hand. Uh, it's among the least costly way to deal large dense wounds, therefore commonly a crucial... But it's also a card that usually hinges on successive coordination with another player. That usually hinges, and it, that is always risky. Counting on this when facing potentially fatal can be dangerous. Um, it says either. If another strength in numbers has already been revealed in a action play this turn, deal four. Amazing. Amazing. So it doesn't require that. But that also allows me to <clears throat> see my person. Event goes away. And I will now spend these to make Clearing your person. my person go away. I hopefully should be able to do it on your turn. Awesome. That's the hope. So I'm drawing up three, you know, drawing up two cards. And let's hope. I'm drawing up three. I got an amber card. Awesome. This is all we need to do. Survive this one. Because I have to move forward now, right? Yep. All right. Beautiful. Um, okay. So I'm moving up one. Pull the event. Oh, but I have you to grab do, this you action You do get card, that right? action card. Yeah. Okay. Pull the event, see what happens. Unseen event. Both players receive wounds equal to your yellow number, which is three. Okay. Um, if there is an open space in conserved energy, take one card from the top of the action deck and place it in the conserved energy. So result, is this an enemy or is this just an event? It is just an event. I've got a teamwork if you're able to play it with me. I <laughs> do not have a teamwork. So we might, we might die here. 
Yeah. Okay. Ugh, this is terrible. And I got rid of my person. I'm, 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 okay. I mean, I... These are just scrolling. Um... I have absolutely nothing. Um, so I can, I'm gonna play this and hope that I can do something on my last gasp. Starting with you. So it's a foresight condition if I can find an amber, but I don't have any way to draw any more cards, right? Because I got rid of my person. Yep, and I have the tools, which doesn't do anything, but it is a amber card, which means I am going to go ahead and discard my person, but I need to do this with as much of the math making sense as possible. So, what's my math? I need five, so I could do it with this, and that would leave me enough to draw up three cards to try to survive. I, only, I had one card left in my pile, but okay. I thought we were supposed to get rid of it. I'm doing this, and that's enough for me to draw three cards if I... Actually, no, I'm redeeming the person. Right, once you get rid of them, they're gone. Because there's no way to go with a last gasp, it's only what you have in your hand, right? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah. We gonna die. Let's see. I'm clearing this. Yeah, I mean, there's we're taking three points of damage. Does it say how it resolves? It just says, both receive three wounds equal to your yellow number. Okay. You want me to take the three damage first? Sure. Because I'm going to try to survive, and I'm going to throw you under the bus a bit, and I'm going to need you to figure out a way to survive on your own. I'm going to have to survive twice, because if you get deal one point of damage to me, then... I'm going to have to survive twice, which I can't even survive once. Yeah. I just have nothing else that's even a possibility. And when I die, we both die. You can't push yourself back three spaces, can you? No. I wish I could push you back three spaces. One down. The only thing I have is a call on the hit. I'm one away from a phone booth. I would deal damage to you. I am truly the witness, because that's the only way I could do it, and I call in a medic alongside that, which is going to heal me for two. It's the only option I have to survive this. So you're literally doing nine points of damage to me. There's nothing else. I guess it... And I also have to discard all of those cards. Um, you can't just deal one point of damage to me? No, because you are. Because it's it's you have to call in a hit. Oh, it's the only health I have. It's the only health option I have. All right. Well, I'm. It was my thing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, before you're doing that, I'm putting this conditional release down because it's actually my event. And that gets rid of all conditions. Oh, you played an event card? That was, this was what I was, I was the one who played the event, right? And I, this, I was going to play this conditional release, which is why I had it set down. So my call on the hit doesn't do anything. That's correct. Me. No, my call on the hit just doesn't heal me. <laughs> That's true. You are correct. It doesn't heal you. So. Still kills you. <laughs> it still kills me and you die as well because there's literally nothing I can do because there's, like, Last Guest doesn't allow you to draw any extra cards. So did, did we just lose as a team? I feel like we just lost as a team. Which is heartbreaking. Because make a Last Guest play, suspend everything, uh, then reveal the process cards in sequence after the cards you last gathered in process. Yeah, because we can't draw just, any more cards. You have to have it in your hand, yeah. Yeah. One. Two. 
Why are you so suspicious at the beginning? I was having did you fun. Mess, did you mess up by playing the uh, the ball and chain? No, I really, I I like playing the ball and chain because I was hoping that I could take your your call in a hit. Yeah. So that that way, but you, you know can't how, hurt me so bad. Do you know how so suspicious bad. that is? So what? <laughs> Suspicious or not, it saved I, my life twice. I didn't start trusting you until, like, up here. Right. I don't trust you at all until, like... I, yeah, I didn't start trusting you at all either until we were up there. But I really felt like we were going to get farther along. I can't believe we died on the last space. We did good, but sadly, yeah. that's not a victory. We definitely should not have cleared these. <sighs> but, I, well, you, but you have to. That's the bad part. Ugh. That's so frustrating to be at the end. I still love this game. It's so much fun. That was a fun, I mean, here, this was a good example of how the game plays if you're both witnesses. Because mm -hmm. you get that question all the time. Like, yeah. what if you're both good? Isn't it going to be boring? It's definitely not, not boring. I didn't feel bored. Did you feel bored? Did you trust me? Did you think I was a witness? I trusted you towards the end, yeah. I trusted you once you got to the final row. Yeah. But, but like, it's about going through the middle of the night, I, I legitimately was debating just leaving you. I, I almost mm -hmm. called in a hit at 40 minutes just to be like, you're, you're clearly sus. Yeah, I mean, I was a little sus at the beginning, but so you were sus. a little sus too. No, not so me. I feel like we have to to suss each other All out. Right. All right, that was a blast. I'm looking forward to the next time we get to play. Me too. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thank you. So much. See you next time.